things like rats and mice, and they can cause a lot of problems for their native wildlife. Sometimes going as far as to take young birds and even eggs straight from the nest. So it's great that we have owls out there to restore that balance. Look, I will let you in on a bit of a secret. I can hear you're excited, yeah. There used to be a rat problem right here at Taronga. They were everywhere. They were absolutely here, yeah, they were bleachers. I know mean, rats, they were everywhere. But since our owls moved in, our rats moved out. And that problem is behind us now. <laughs> I'm so glad you're excited. So did you know that a single owl can actually eat up to a thousand rats and mice in a year and a breeding pair with a chick up to 3,000 more. So it's safe to say that owls really are some of the absolute best neighbours that we could hope for. I think you're right for that. Thanks very much, Phil. Yeah, I know what you were thinking. They were on the fence. They were under your seats as well, particularly about that. But you don't have to worry because owls have done such a remarkable job. Now, it really doesn't matter where you live in the world, you do not need to travel very far to appreciate the significance of birds. In fact, there is one species that has done all the travelling for us, for it journeyed across the seas. And this bird did this actually alongside people, and that enabled us all to develop our own everyday connection. Now, this is a bird that I'm sure you will all be familiar with, or maybe not knowing its whole story. It's a fantastic striking bird and his name's Mentari. <laughs> now Mentari may look just like any old chook to you but he is a red jungle fowl and red jungle fowls are from Southeast Asia and they're one of the ancestors to all of our modern day breeds of chicken and they actually boast a relationship with people of over 8,000 years. Now, red jungle fowl, domestic chickens, have featured throughout religions, rituals, and customs, and even made their way into our own everyday language. Isn't that right, ladies? Well, you could be like Mentari, and you like to rule the roost. You could be someone who likes to put all their eggs in one basket. And I'm sure some of you have been considered at times a bit of a mother hen may be concerned about their chicks getting ready to fly the coop. Well, you can see how chickens actually hold significance for people everywhere. Today, domestic chickens are considered the most common livestock species in the world. They actually outnumber us by six to one. Thanks, Mentari. So you can see to appreciate the significance of birds, we need to look no further than our own backyards. Now, Australia has no form of native wild chicken to be found. But we still have one of the best diversities of bird life you could hope to find anywhere in the world. There's actually over 800 types of birds that call this country home. And of those, just over 50 include our parrots. Now for most Australians, it's as simple as to step right out into your own backyards to experience the beauty of these birds which are all around us.